One year ago from today, I celebrated my 21st birthday in Las Vegas. You're a nerd and all you think about is things like Sonic the Hedgehog, Minecraft, Pokemon. You don't touch grass, you don't have any money, you don't get any p you don't get any of that good stuff. But you happen to make a group of friends online and they're pretty grown individuals. They're married, they have children, they have this weird thing called a 401k or... Some are football players, military veterans, proud stay-at-home dads. They basically have their entire lives figured out. And well, I don't. And that's kind of an issue. They came up with the idea to physically meet up for the first time and celebrate my 21st birthday. You guys might be thinking to yourself, why are you hanging out with people who are 10 years older than you? Kind of so it's kind of weird, kind of uh, concerning. I happened to meet these guys in a video called World of Warcraft. If you guys don't know what World of Warcraft is, well, uh, I don't blame you. These guys knew me since I was 18 years old. Skill streak, let's go. <gasps> <laughs> kind of surprised that these guys uh, don't absolutely fucking hate me. I'm something that you would like to call Mutushatu. That's very annoying in Portuguese. You know how they call like Dennis the Menace? Well, I'm David the, Me the Menace, okay? Yeah. yeah. They also knew that I'm like 12 years old, so they kind of just forgive me and give me like the benefit of the doubt. But yeah, everything was uh, set from there. Everybody booked their flights, we figured out what hotels to convene at, and we made our way to Vegas! But first, there's a uh, one problem. When I first told my parents about this trip, they thought I was absolutely fucking stupid. They didn't really vibe with the idea of me hanging out with people who are 10 years older than me. I could only go under one condition, and is that they have to come with me. They did tell me to not do any drugs, drink, gamble, or anything fun. Yeah, obviously, they. Uh, I didn't l really listen to them. Fortunately, I was successful in convincing my parents to go on the trip. We uh, booked our flights, our hotels, eventually, made our flight to Vegas. I basically just booked an Uber over to their location, and that was when I finally met everybody for uh, the first time. Let's just say that that was a really awesome moment. Well, I say that, but I was an anti-social b****. I was, I, I just didn't know how to respond or act, be a, a human. They immediately commented how uh, short I am since apparently I lied to them. For the longest time, I thought I was 5'8", okay? I don't be honest with you, but apparently I'm 5'6". Uh, uh. Funny story about that, by the way, they were across the street away from me. I didn't notice the ongoing traffic across the street and uh... <laughs> Yeah, uh, wouldn't be a great start to the trip. My parents told me to take a selfie just to make sure that I'm safe, be able to send it over to them to make sure they know where I was at and stuff like that. By the way, I also have like a tracker in my phone. So they were constantly looking at that, okay? They were, yeah, uh, concerned to say the least. A lot of my buddies were bug bugging me, okay? They were trying to stuff beers down my face. One of them kissed me, which, uh... <laughs> But yeah, we eventually made to the karaoke bar. This bar in particular is kind of tailored towards uh, the middle aged millennial people. <laughs> They play a lot of early 2000s classics, your Avril Lavigne's, your Kelly Clarkson's, your Linkin Park's, like that type of music, which I kind of jam with, not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, since you've been gone, you don't have never That 
whole time, I was out of my fucking element. It was a lot for me, okay? I just made it for my flight, and now all of a sudden, drinking 10 different White Claws. My buddy Mike really, really wanted me to just have fun and try to get lit, okay? Try to get wasted, try to throw up a little bit. I almost did throw up, but my buddy Alex over here, you know, the MVP, he was able to uh, help me get used to, like, the feeling of drunkenness. Yeah, he told me to take deep breaths. Things that, like, well, humans do all the time, but, like, I, yeah, don't know how to do that. He also offered me this weird liquor drink with, like, a lemon on the side and stuff. The seltzers haven't really did anything to me. Like, I think I was, like, three drinks in. I was like, Ey. That shot of liquor really did me good, okay? It railed the f Overall, it was a really good time. I eventually called the Uber and made my way back to my hotel. There were some, uh, severe consequences for my actions that night. Oh, I just look so fucking ugly right now. I currently have this uh, massive headache at the moment, which is uh, not ideal. So I'm probably gonna just chug as much water as possible before we go next time so I don't like literally die. Oh my god, I have such a headache. Ah. My buddies contacted me and said that, hey, are you down to go to uh, the Hoover Dam? This is this like historical monument place. I have no idea where it is actually. I'm just making shit up. I didn't want them to go through the hassle of having to pick me up from the Strat. Since uh, to give you guys some context, they were booked in the link, which was in the dead middle of the strip. My friends also told me, hey, you could just take the monorail. Finding out where this monorail thing was, well, it made me realize that I'm a fucking idiot. Yo, what's up, you guys? I'm currently making my way down to the monorail right now and try to just meet up with a lot of my friends so yeah that's gonna be exciting to say the least i am kind of sort of just walking by myself over here but you know as long as i don't stray too far from the path i think i should be fine right <laughs> I ended up in bumfuck nowhere in Nevada. I had no idea where I was at. A buddy of mine by the name of Justin Faden, he was eventually able to pick me up. After that little ordeal, we eventually made our way to the Hoover Dam. Guys, I'm here with David, Justin, Yo, what's up? Alex, the dog, hey, what's up? the what's tank. Up? We're at the Hoover Dam, you know, we're just, just doing it. But we're gonna be going walking that way. I'm gonna be walking across that. Doing his job for him. So we'll see you there, huh? Scared? Do you think you'd fear for your life if we all picked you up right, right now? After our little detour to the Hoover Dam, we decided to go out and find a place to eat. We eventually ran into this uh, in and out place, which was, uh, eh. It was okay. After we were done eating, we decided to uh, take a quick break from the chaos. We met up again in the link, and we eventually made our way to uh, the gay club. <laughs> This was uh, very different from what I expected. To give you guys some context, it was uh, pretty cold in Vegas. There's people out there that are butt -fucking naked. They're, they're fucking dancing their ass off, trying to get those dollars stuffed in their, their thongs. My buddies had me put like a $20 bill inside this guy's ass, so um, that was an interesting experience. I would never do that. I mean, have you guys seen me fucking shirtless before? It looked, yeah, not good. I don't really jam to things like, you know, the Cardi B's and Nicki Minaj's, you know, that type of stuff. Yeah, not my type of music, really. The others, they were trying to, you know, have me dance a little bit, which... <laughs> I'm not a really good dancer, not gonna lie. I'm just very shy, okay? I'm not like somebody who like feels the need to dance in a club, you know what I'm saying? Especially when it's to music like wet ass pussy. But I enjoyed the experience as a whole. Glad I had it. Everybody was dancing, okay? Everybody was having a good time. And yeah, I try to have a good time myself. <laughs> We had a pretty good time. We decided to go back to our hotels, try to get some rest, and yeah, go from there. Coming out of my cage and I've been doing just fine. Oh, 
<laughs> Wait, are you live streaming this on Facebook? Dad, don't do that. Parisu! Dad, stuff it, you're embarrassing me. Dad, please. Me and my parents eventually separated. They were going to do, you know, their own little thing. Unfortunately, the only two people that really came out was uh, my buddy Peyton and Mike. We decided to take a nice stroll around the Las Vegas Strip and see what the place has to offer. At one of the stores, we stopped by and they bought me this uh, birthday sash. A nice memorabilia from uh, the trip. Like it's like I, I just I don't know what to say. We decided the last place for us to meet up, talk, have a good experience. We decided to go to the Rainforest Cafe. Mike was like, "Wow, David seems to really want to go to this place. We should just, you know, go there and celebrate his 21st birthday." I had no fucking choice. He insisted me on going, and that's where we went. Deep down, though, I was uh, actually really fucking excited. But there was one problem. So remember our buddy Justin? He decided to drink a little bit too much, and he was extremely fucking drunk. Right, Sir, I need you right, to record right. your introduction for this. Right, so you, you have to look good for this. Tell me when it starts. He's getting money on the ATM to get a fucking massage bar. Who is? Is that the ATM or the money? Oh god, no. <laughs> Ah, shit, my legs. <laughs> he was uh, already throwing up. Like half of the friend group, they were trying to you know deal with the situation and try to figure out like what was going on. And the other half of us, we were just walking the fuck away. Like we didn't want to have anything to do with that. Hey, who threw up? <laughs> Who do you think? Hector? <laughs> hey, take a video. I am, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Oh, no. Rainforest Cafe. Yeah, dude, the Rainforest Cafe. This is like a joke right now. I was just you know, looking around, you know, just chilling out, and then I heard a very interesting sound. Uh, did the camera get that? I hope so, because I just created a big fat ugly mess. I heard the sounds of water making contact with the floor. And let me tell you, that was uh, not from the rainforest. I then turned behind me and I noticed, holy f this dumbass motherfucker threw up all over the Rainforest Cafe gift shop. We figured Justin can't be there anymore. Eventually got to our seats. We just hanged out, had a good time. Okay, we experienced the rainforest. David. This shit's gay! It was a nice conclusion to our day. We made it our way back to the hotel, we talked a little bit more, and that was basically it. I'm going to end this video off with a nice little compilation of everything that occurred during that trip. Uh, hopefully it's a nice end to this YouTube video. Remember the last time you used a public restroom? SHUT UP! <laughs> I don't know what a Chili Park Girl is. Chili Park means they're trash. They usually have two names. What's the other one? Like Marianne, Stacy Boo, you know. Oh, Stacy, yeah, we love oh, Stacy. Yeah. What's up, guys? This is uh, Mike Stan. I'm here with uh, Eat Chicken. Retired Shaman. Retired Shaman. Uh, David Bisbaugh. We have uh, Bob in the back. Alex. 
You know him, right? Galaxy Beef. Resto Shaman, now he plays Warlock. <laughs> we have uh, Steven D714. Subscribe on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Steven D714. Say hi. Yo, what's up, what's up? We have Vinny, the man, the myth, the legend. Fuck, say hi. My man! Oh, I'll bang your wife later tonight, yeah. right? That was I'm so glad that Mike did all that work for me. I mean, like, it really means a lot. Yes, it's my car. What are you gonna do? What are we doing? We're going to the Rainforest Cafe. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna, you know, get some drinks. I'm not betting his ass over. I want to go home, home. You ever seen Beer Pong before? Yeah, of course. Well, I, I, I saw in movies. Hey, hey, hey. Beer Pong? You get out more. You got it. He's sick. 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 Come on, come, come on, on, come 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 on, come